And no problems for Mark Scaife and the Holden Racing Team, though they have made the perfect start. And Scaife is currently trying to break a deadlock this weekend with the great Peter Brock. They currently share 37 round wins in the Australian Touring Car Championship each. And while he's focused on that, Scaife recently entered the Guinness Book for very different reasons. Woomera, a solid six hour drive north of Adelaide. The small community is best known for its rocket launching range. At its busiest, it's quiet. So when a red racing hero like Mark Scaife arrives in town, there's a bit of a buzz. You get much excitement up Woomera way or not? Plenty. What other type of excitement happens up here? <laughs> oh, lots of things. Well, like what? Oh, there's some um, darts. <laughs> <laughs> they love their V8s up Woomera away. This bloke, in front of his pride and joy, is the local school principal, believe it or not. School principal. Not many school principals get around a vehicle like this one. No, no, not at all. But when you're a Holden fan, you know, <laughs> um, you save your pennies and, yeah, you get something like this. So, so the principal had no problem saying yes to Mark Scaife no, arriving? not at all. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys got any sort of questions about any of the racing or anything that's going on? with us with our stuff have you got the kids had questions all right or... putting scafey right yeah. under the hammer why don't you start racing Did the holden swing do you have a partner have you ever like flipped it or that they asked you about your partner they you about russell ingle they asked you the tough ones didn't they well, they did. They, they're probing. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure. I reckon you must be in a bit of trouble, mate, with <laughs> your uh, line of questioning because they've, uh, they've got it sussed. But Scaife wasn't just in Woomera to charm kids and harm reporters. He was there to add to the area's reputation for producing rockets. What we got today is the record attempt for the world's fastest production ute. It's um, a, a standard Malu ute, which, um, is in terms of the attempt, I think the current record holder uh, is a Dodge from uh, from the United States. So. We've, uh, we've got a bit of work to do. Uh, what type of rules are in place for a record attempt like this? Yeah, look, it's pretty simple. Basically, it does have to be a production car, so exactly as it rolled off the production line, uh, apart from stickers, obviously. Um, well, the other things are, it basically needs to be timed over two flying one-kilometre runs uh, to make sure that there's no wind assistance or, or hill assistance or anything like that. What we then do is take the average of both runs and, uh, and get the, uh, the average highest speed puts out 297 kilowatts at 6,000 revs and uh, about 530 newton metres at uh, 4,400 revs. It does hoof along pretty quickly, yeah. This road is contained within the Woomera prohibited area. It's not open to the general public because they still launch the odd rocket or two around here. Now to etch his name into the Guinness Book of World Records, Scafey needs to travel in excess of 248.78 kilometres an hour. We reckon really the data says that you've got to go really hard from the beginning, so it's probably a little bit spooky down that end because it's quite bumpy and nasty at the beginning, so just giving it full noise is actually quite a good ride. You own any other Guinness Book of World Records mate or not? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> none, that we're, none that we'd ever, ever own up to. <laughs> Are you expecting to own one by the end of the day? Oh, I hope so. I mean, uh, we wouldn't all be out here doing this if we didn't think we could do it, so uh, you know, 100% we'll be into it. Seemingly the entire town had been allowed special entry into the prohibited zone to witness the record attempt. Hold any Guinness Book of World Records yourself or not? Um, oh yeah, the prettiest daughter. Oh. Oh. How's that? Oh, what a beautiful She's father gone. you are. <laughs> Super Dad, much smoother than the road surface, Scafey was about to let fly on. Quite literally in the middle of nowhere, Holden's marquee man wound up for 5.6 kilometres to reach top speed. His Maloo sounding more like one of the local rockets. Mark, they're about to download the data, but how did it feel? Yeah, well, look, I think it feels good. The, the speedo goes to 260k, and it's it's firmly set on that. 271.44. It's a new Guinness World Record. Whoa! Where is Mr. Scaife? There he is. <laughs> Mark, so yesterday the record stood at 248 kilometres an hour. Today, 271.44. Congratulations. Thank you very new much. New Guinness World Record. Well, you... well done. Thank you. Be absolutely standard. Uh, it's uh, it's you know I mean one that you don't really think of that much, but but clearly it's a it's a very very fast car. To be standard though, it really should probably have a blue heel or a surfboard etc in the back. <laughs> Do you think you could still break the record with that in there? I reckon it'd pin the old ears back on the blue heel, or I'll give you the tip. <laughs> Scafey's first run was 265.72 kilometres an hour. His second 277.16. 
to give him and Holden the new world record of 271.44 kilometres an hour, leaving everyone very happy. Well, almost everyone. A local copper had his radar out, he's apparently looking to catch up with you. <laughs> yeah, I reckon he might be. <laughs> <laughs>